So I'm going to give you a big, big secret here, a big key to mastering the deep game. Okay. Do not underestimate this. Live in the body, not in the mind. Okay. Live in the body, not in the mind. This is a big key. <laughs> so I'll explain what I mean by this here. Most of us, when we go throughout our day, we live completely in this world of the mind. We're thinking thoughts to ourselves all day long. We're thinking about what somebody said and replaying a conversation. We are like thinking about what we're taking in on social media. There's just constant chatter all day long in our head. And we basically live nowhere but here. What I'm suggesting to you is that you live, like locate your consciousness in the body rather than in the head. Only use the head when needed, all right? Now, if you are thinking thoughts to yourself all day long and um, analyzing every single situation and, and replaying it in your mind and like living up here, what do you think is going to happen when you step on the basketball court? It is going to be near impossible to follow the law of presence, right? And again, law of presence states performance increases as thought decreases. So if you want to step on the basketball court and be perfectly present in the zone, but for all 16, 17 hours of your waking life every single day for years and years, you have done nothing but lived up in your thoughts like most of us do. How difficult do you think it's going to be? Again, it's so hard to instantly shut the mind off if you are not actively practicing this. And so the default position of your consciousness, your energy should be in the body, literally relax and feel the physical body. Right now, as you're watching this video, relax and feel the physical body, not um, sitting here like thinking thoughts up in the mind and allowing the mind to wander all over the place, but just feel your body, okay? As soon as you actively or accurately do this, as soon as you actually sink into the body, you will feel your mind become quiet. It will start to quiet down and quiet down. And the more that you sink into the body, the quieter the mind will become. So when we step on the basketball court, obviously we are playing the game of basketball spontaneously through our body. And the more that we're thinking through the things that are going on, the, going on on the court, the slower we're going to react and the more we're going to miss opportunities on the court. So the body spontaneously reacts through the intelligence of the body itself. So what I'm saying here is don't live up here throughout your days, live down here. And what's going to happen, um, to use an analogy right now, like uh, if I look out at the sky, it's quite cloudy at the moment. There's a couple like little tiny um, spots of blue that you can see through the clouds, but it's mostly cloudy. And most of us walk through our life with our mind in that way. We're stirring up clouds of thoughts all day long. And because we keep stirring up clouds, it's always cloudy. We can't even see through, like there's just a couple little spots of blue up there. When we sink down and relax into the body, the sky clears and we finally see, or the clouds clear out and we finally see that blue sky and it's perfectly crystal clear blue, like on a summer day when there's not a cloud in the sky. That's how your mind can be. And imagine if you're not always stirring up clouds, but you're relaxed in the body. When you go up to use the mind, when it is, um, the mind is a tool to be used. It's not a place to live. So when you go to use this tool, how much clearer do you think your mind will be? How much more accurate will it be? Every time you look at, up at the sky, it's perfectly blue. That can be your mental reality. And every decision that you make will be so much clearer, so much more accurate, so much more obvious to you. And you'll be able to make those decisions perfectly in the moment, spontaneously, without sifting through these clouds of thoughts and like trying to see the little cracks of blue in the sky. Okay, so hopefully that analogy made sense for you. Live in the body, not in the head. And you do this just simply by relaxing and sinking down into the body, feeling the body and actually live there throughout the day. This doesn't mean that when you are doing a math test or like reading a book or doing something that's mentally oriented, you uh, shut off the mind and just like relax the body and don't think at all. No, again, the mind is a tool. So you use it when necessary, but you don't live there all day long. If you're walking to and from class, 
that's a time that you don't really need to be thinking. And actually, um, you will find that the more relaxed you are into the body, the better your mind works. So when you're doing things that are more spontaneous, like having a conversation with somebody, the words will just flow out of you spontaneously without you like overthinking and stifling what you're saying. It will happen so much more naturally if you make your default position the body rather than the head. All right. So I hope I've like uh, taught this thoroughly enough. We can go so much deeper on this, but this is a big, big, big key. I, I said in the beginning, like, do not underestimate this. This is a big key to mastering the law of presence. So live in the body, not in the head. Hey, it's Taylor. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, the best thing to do right now while it's fresh in your mind is to head over to deepgame.com and join us in our free masterclass. Now, this is where you'll learn all eight laws of the deep game and all of the fundamentals that you need to know about the part of basketball that's played with the mind. We've had players call this the best hour of basketball learning of their lives, and it's completely free right now. So head over to deepgame.com to join us, and I will see you there.